Okay. Hi everybody, this is Dr. Uzi Chen again. Uh, we're here at the last stretch of the small intestine channel points location. We're now at small intestine 16, 17, 18, and 19. Those points pertain to the side of the neck, as well as to the cheek and the area of the ear, okay? So I'd like to take you through the uh, demonstration of how to find those points. Uh, they're very useful. And once you know the anatomy, you're very, very safe as well, okay? So let's get started here. If you can point the camera here, uh, would you please uh, rotate to the right? Yeah. And then go ahead and lift your head off the pillow a little bit. I want you guys to notice that that's the clavicle right there. Sometimes more defined, sometimes less defined. And that muscle that we see coming here down is the sternocleidomastoid. Another name is the SCM. Go ahead and relax. This is an important landmark for us, the acupuncturist. We gotta know where we are on that muscle, okay? There's, a, there's points behind it, on it, anterior to it, and we, know, we wanna know where we are. That muscle is actually a contralateral rotator of the neck. That means that in order for the person to look to the right, they have to engage the left sternocleidomastoid, okay? Again, it's connecting that important body landmark here. This is what known as the uh, mastoid process. It is something that you can find easily on yourself as well. Right there, right there behind the lobe of the ear, there's a sort of like a prominence of the skull. And this is used as an attachment site for many muscles. Okay. Now, when we consider that, we want to also be aware of where is the uh, jaw. So we look at the jaw for a moment and you see it has a, an angle. You see that angle here between my fingers. That is known as the angle of the jaw, okay? The muscle, the SEM muscle goes right behind it, but there's a little bit of a room right there where we own the anterior or the front of the SEM muscle. That's actually small intestine 17. I'd like to actually make that known, so to speak, already. So we'll see where we are in space, okay? Right there at the level of the uh, angle of the uh, mandible or the jaw, same thing on the anterior side of the SEM, small intestine 17. Now, small intestine 16, we want to be aware of where is the Adam's apple. So if I may for a moment, okay, you can see the curvature of the neck right there. Adam's apple is that laryngeal prominence that is very easily defined. And then if you go across the neck at the same level, we're going to find points that are on the front, the middle and behind. So if you will return, uh, turn again to the right and then lift your head up in, in a moment, we have two heads here. There's the sternal SEM that attaches on the sternal side and there's the clavicular. You can tell that there's a point in between them right there. That's actually large intestine 18 right here. On the front, that's stomach 9. We're going to be behind on the same level of the Adam's apple or laryngeal prominence right here. That's our small intestine 16. Go ahead and relax your neck. Okay, you can see that it's not here. We're going with a normal natural curvature of the neck to find that right there at the, at the posterior border of the SEM. Let's put a note here, not a note, uh, <laughs> a point, a mark. Yeah, so we have small intestine 16, small intestine 17. Go ahead and turn to look at the ceiling. Beautiful, okay? So we're still on. Of course, the skin moves a little bit, but that's actually there, okay? When we talk about um, the small intestine 18, you can look, if you will, for a second on the outer canthus of the eye, which is right there. And we are, at that point, is defined as directly below it when we go inferior. I'm feeling the maxilla. This is the uh, uh, cheekbone, if you will. And then right under it, as soon as it starts to bend, there's going to be a depression. And if I'm just looking for a tender spot, sort of like right there, that's going to be small intestine 18, which is great for anything that has to do with the neck, with that cheek area or the facial muscles of the cheek, okay? Good, so that's going to be small intestine 18. I'm not going to use the marker on the face here. Uh, it is important that we are recognizing that it's just under the outer canthus and then just below the um, maxilla, okay? Right, there's a depression, very easily impalpable and sometimes a little tender. Small intestine 18. Small intestine 19 is going to be actually just in front of the trigger. So I'm, I'm just going to point out the ear itself has different cartilage aspects, but that specific area is known as the tragus. The tragus has a lot of acupuncture points on the top, on the front of it. Okay. 
this Montessin 19 is situated at the center. So if you see that little prominence right there, just anterior to that, we can find small intestine 19. But if I try to kneel here, I'm gonna hit the condyloid of the uh, mandible of the jaw. So what I have to make sure I'm asking is, I wanna ask the patient to open up his jaw, and then there's a hole right there. You don't have to make it very hard, just a little bit. There's a jaw, open a little more, that I can really feel I can go through. That's our SI19. When we go here, we can then put the, the needle in, and then when we withdraw it and the person can close their mouth, there's no problem, okay? So small intestine 19 at the level of the, of the middle of the tragus, just anterior to that. Go ahead and open one more time. As soon as the patient opens up, you'll fall into a hole, literally, and you just wanna go straight into that area, okay? These, are, these conclude all the small intestine channel points, and um, I hope it was helpful. Thank you.